cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree We're all done with Lytle And I'm actually gonna save that video for this Friday So expect to see that and right now we're at the Asian grocery store. I am going to buy a few more veggies. I do love the mustard greens for the sour soup called sinigang and we make that about three to four times in a month. I also need to buy some veggies. You don't find the veggies in the other grocery stores so this is why I come here. I don't necessarily have a meal plan. It's just what we want to have for dinner and most especially how much time I have to cook for the dinner. I'm going to need several cans to make this dessert called Ginnitaan. Each can is $2.99 and if you find it on sale for $2.50, that's a really good deal. But look what I found down here. It's a humongous can and I did the math. So if I buy the big can, it's going to be 7.25 cans of these. I just got to find out the price. This is the first time I've seen a can this huge. So if it comes out cheaper, I'll buy this instead of the little cans that I have in my cart because these are $3 and it, it will take seven and a quarter cans to fit in here. So let's see if there's a big price difference. I'm buying quite a few stuff here and you know you don't go grocery shopping if you're hungry. I mean, I had breakfast, but seeing all this food is getting me hungry. Anyway, I'm gonna be making dessert on Saturday. Did I tell you guys? I don't know, my mind is all over the place. Anyway, it's called Ginnitaan and I put jackfruit and it makes the Ginnitaan so delicious. So I'm gonna get a can of this. I already have several other items which I'll talk about when I get home and that will be for a Saturday afternoon. You can also put some sweet purple yam in the Ginnitaan but what I'm gonna do, I'll just use the flavor or the extract because it is pricey at $5.79 per jar. You can buy the purple yam if you're lucky enough to find it at the grocery store. Earlier this year, I went to the Indian store and I did find it. It was a bit pricey. It was like a long tuber for $10 and that's the one that I planted in, into a pot. And another wasted thing, I tried to harvest it and I harvested it too late because it was like all mushy. So that's not something that I would plant again year after year. I think I'm done because I have limited space and I really want to save that space for something that's more productive. Talking about ube, I did find a cookie recipe online and I have this already at home. But if you guys never tried this ube flavoring, it's very unique. I can't explain how it is. It is very sweet and uh, dense in flavor. So you guys got to give that a try. I keep talking about this soup called sinigang. This is the tamarind soup mix that I use. You can also use these tamarinds if you find it, but I find that the mix really gives it a sourness that Filipinos do love. So the ingredients are not so great. Don't look at the ingredients, guys. Don't look at it. But the soup is really delicious. I think I have enough stuff in my cart, right, guys? So again, don't come to the grocery store if you're hungry or else you're going to be like me, filling your cart. Now, this is not going to go to waste. We are going to be cooking meals. I don't necessarily have an exact meal plan, but I do have certain dishes on my mind that we can make. Just got filming the Lytle grocery haul and that's going to be for a separate video. But for today's vlog, I'm just going to quickly show you the groceries that I bought at the Asian grocery store and what I plan to do with it. Today, we are going to be using the salmon belly to make this sour soup called sinigang. You guys gotta try it. If you can't cook it, go to a Filipino restaurant and try it out, and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love it. Hi everyone, if you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You know guys, I was gawking at this at Lytle, right? And I said to myself, I know it's $4, I know it's a small package, but I am certainly deserving of this because I did the groceries today, brought them in the house put them away so yes no one's gonna eat this but me it's gonna be all mine and that's gonna be my treat for today the two more items that i got at lytle that are non-food items it's a hide and seek cat tunnel and this is gonna be an additional gift for my little cat maxi and that's gonna be her new year's gift and then the wipes i mentioned earlier in the video i do need some wipes for my glasses because they keep getting dirty and so i'm gonna give this a try and if this works well then i'll also use it on my camera now on to the grocery haul from the Asian grocery store. So all this, including this big container of coconut milk, cost me $109. That's because I have some meat down there. I would say they're fairly a good price and comparable to Costco's prices. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna be using it for. 
about two weeks ago I bought this beef shank and I had made it into um, kind of like a pot roast and then what my mom did she took the rest of it she drained the liquid and she made it like a corned beef it literally tastes like corned beef in a can she kind of shredded it up and put some onion and garlic powder I don't know what else but it tastes real good so I decided that she can make well she can teach me how to make it because she's going to go away pretty soon on vacation so I want to know how she does that and then this is a salmon belly that we're going to use you can see it's very thin it has a lot of fat there is a fin in there I'm going to ask my mom to cut it and we're going to be making that into the sour soup because you can use different proteins different meats or shrimp or just plain vegetables to make this sour soup or we call it sinigang same thing goes for the pork belly you can also try to make this into like a chicharron I haven't done that yet but um, that's something I would like to learn how to make it and then the pork butt you can use it for different things but what we're going to be using it for is menudo for the menudo I don't like to use fresh liver so I have liver pate or liver paste and we're going to be adding carrots and potato and some people even put raisins in it but it's really good it's a common Filipino dish or even in Spanish cuisine you'll find that here are the mustard greens that we're going to be using into the soup now I know this one kind of looks a little bit wilted but we're going to be cooking it for dinner today so that's going to be eaten up pretty quickly I know this looks like a lot but my kids and myself we love the mustard greens into the soup if you watch my other video called what's for dinner Filipino dish I use this squash to make this vegetable dish called pinak bet I'm going to try this new recipe out I want to use beef and I want to put it in this local cooker along with this squash and uh, maybe another vegetable I haven't figured that out yet so I want to make a nice pot roast but with the squash I was even thinking of the sweet potato but I'm actually going to use that for a different dish for the ginitian we use this rice flour this brand is called mochiko or mochiko and it's a glutinous rice flour we're going to roll it up into balls we're going to add coconut milk we're going to add um, sweet potato here we're going to also add plantain and we're going to also add the jackfruit the ginitian can be served hot or it can be served cold it can be served as a dessert or it can be served as a merienda like a little snack in between meals you can also add little tapioca pearls you can also add ube or ube flavoring including in the sour soup we'll be using radish and this is the one that they sell at the Asian grocery store I don't have a particular name to it they do sell a very long radish I'm not sure if this is the same one if this is just a younger radish but it is pretty plain tasting and then when you put it into the sour soup it picks up the flavor lastly this big container of coconut milk I thought it was going to be more expensive than the six cans that I was going to purchase and surprisingly this only costs $15 if you do the map six cans of coconut milk will cost you $18 compared to this large coconut milk will cost you only 15 now I know I may not use the whole thing and that's where I'm going to have to put it in the freezer but it's still much cheaper I basically got a whole can for free I'm gonna end the vlog here guys because I still have to pick up my kids we still have to cook and I'm going to be working tonight I may take you guys to work with me I'm not sure but you'll find out for tomorrow's video if you like this video guys don't forget to like and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video which is tomorrow bye